Hey guys, this is Nick101575, and here today I have some stuff to show you. Really cool, um, I just got back from North Carolina today, and my dad told me that he sold both of my go-karts perfectly fine. He's a really nice guy, but without asking me, but we were trying to get them sold and stuff, so one worked, one didn't. I got $100 since mine worked and my sister's didn't. So I bought a helmet with ACU digital camo cover, and that was $29.99 for both, but the lady screwed up. It should have been $40, but that's way better because now I have $70 to spend on that stuff on the vest, and I do have enough to get the vest and everything. And my mom is sending me the uh, ACU digital camo, like, this ACU, it'll come you'll see in just a second, but I also have desert camo and stuff, but I'll try to hurry this up. Uh, this is my, and you can make stupid, mean comments if you want. I don't really care at all because, you know, it's your opinion. You guys may be bored and just want to say mean stuff to the kid that is in sixth grade, but this is basically my helmet. It may be not look that good on me yet, but I will glow into it. Hopefully not that far from now, and I do have these clear glasses, they're safety. I'm gonna go shooting uh, old Vietnam guns, like an M16, that my friend from, my dad's friend from work got it recently, so I'm gonna go fire off M16s. I could possibly show you guys videos of that too, but this is what I look like with my and gear on. I will, I am going to get new goggles, uh, those ones with the covers on them that were used for my rack and stuff. Uh, so it's hard to adjust the camera because everywhere I move it, it's the opposite of where I want to move it. Okay, well, uh, yeah, and I also have a desert camera thing. I know I need to lose weight, but I will get digital camo, and I'm not, my parents are really protective, they won't let me see M-rated movies, but they won't let me, well, R-rated movies, they won't let me see R-rated games though, I don't know why they're really protective, but I can see what me in and stuff, and they won't let me watch and play some stuff, so, and they won't let me play airsoft because they're really protective. As I said, but hold on, this is inside. Okay. Uh, hold on, just a second, guys. Inside out, so whenever I put my arm in it, it will work. This is a little bit big, so try to hold off on the mean comments and stuff. But this isn't this stuff like this is is not much. I did not buy this stuff. My now stepdad in North Carolina, he is the highest rank in the U.S. Air Force. So you can get a bunch of this stuff for free. And you got a real helmet and stuff. But, uh, I got this water bottle, canteen stuff from him. It's real. It has this is like the normal canteen thing, and there's this metal thing inside of it for my cooking. And I will have a lot more tactical stuff with my possibly $30 left over from my $50 guy um, for my stuff. Um, um, I also have this well, kind of military police thing, but I'm not going to use any of this. And This is a fake blue pistol, $1 store. I just I was like, why not paint, spray paint it black? It would be a lot cheaper. It, like, 
it's a one, it's a, it's like a 50 cent gun, and it works pretty good. Just doesn't have that good range. I have two sets of handcuffs for that thing. They will again go in that handcuff, that thing, and I will have mags and stuff. Um, what else do I have? And that's pretty much about it. Uh, thank you for your time and subscribe if you like it. Um, Yes, uh, send messages the next time I will see you. I will kind of be like, kitted out like in a bunch of ACU, digital camo, uh, vests, and yeah, all that stuff because I have $100 to spend on that use. And that stuff is only like $59.99 for the vest and stuff. It may not be full gear because I can't afford the full bulletproof vest. Because they have a bulletproof vest, and then they have that pocket thing, and then they have the hydration pack. I'm going to only get the second one. That's only like a short vest full of a bunch of pockets. But it will look like I'm reasonably good suited. And so, again, thank you. And next time you see me, I will have new goggles and stuff. Maybe not new goggles. That's not any promise. I was just saying with my leftover money. And yeah. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Oh wait, hold on. One more thing. I was going to spray paint black. It is a Nerf Stampede. Um, it's pretty good. It has weapon attachments from a bunch of old different guns that I used to use. <coughs> Sorry about that. This gun's kind of heavy. Not really. No, like a little bit heavy. So this is how they hold them in Iraq. I am going to spray paint it black. This is like a leader gun. Um, I'm going to try to spray paint it black. And do all that. And hopefully it will be a cooler military gun. Um, since I have sunglasses on, I can act like I'm looking this way, but still have my eyes face that way. So I can see what this looks like. But you guys didn't really need to know that, but, uh, yeah, again, please watch the video next time. I will show you how to get it on. Oh, and next time, I'm running out of time, so I'm sorry, but next time it will, I will show you how to get on a digital camo helmet cover. Bye.